my name is Sanisha. I hope you all are doing well. And I also hope you guys are excited for our story today, The Woman at the Well. Before we get started though, let's start with our icebreak icebreaker question. So today's icebreaker question is, what is your favorite book? What is your favorite book? So my favorite book is Amari Goes to the Doctor. It's my favorite book for many <laughs> reasons. Um, but it's about a brave girl named Amari. She meets Nurse Naua and Dr. Daisy, and they just show her that the doctor's office is a very fun and exciting place to be. They show her um, medical instruments they use on her body and explain why they use it. They show her healthy foods that she can eat. And overall, she just feels very, brave and um, just eager to take care of her health by the end of the book. I'm going to share another reason why it's my favorite book. <laughs> I actually am the author of Amari Goes to the Doctor. So it was written by me and the pictures are from my friend Joshua. So I hope you guys enjoy the story or get a chance to read the story at some point and know that the doctor's office is a very safe place to be and fun. All right, so let's get into our story. So our story is The Woman at the Well. It's um, taken from John chapter four, verse three to 42. So John chapter four, verse three to 42. And when you guys have a moment, just pull out the Bible, um, come to these verses with your family or friends, or maybe even by yourself, and just take a moment to read it through. But right now I'm gonna go through the story with you, okay? So let's get started. So, the woman at the well. So one day, Jesus and his helpers, they were walking for a long time. So it was a hot day and they were very thirsty. So very thirsty, it was a hot day. So Jesus sat down by a well to rest and cool off while his helpers went to walk and find food. So a well is a place people used to go to go and collect water if they were thirsty. So that's where Jesus sat for that day. So while he was resting, a woman came to get water from the well and Jesus asked for a drink of the water because he was thirsty. The woman was so amazed that Jesus was talking to her. Um, so Jesus started to tell her many of the things she had done and she was surprised that Jesus knew so much about her. So can you imagine this woman comes to the well to get water? you know like any other regular day and jesus is there he asked her for some water but he also shares things that she has done in her past and she's never met him before in person so she was so surprised um jesus also told the woman that he was the savior that um god promised um to send to forgive her for all the wrongs that she had done so here what he's saying is God has sent Jesus to her and with him being there, he was there to acknowledge and share with her that I know you've done good, I know you've done bad, but God has sent me here to forgive you for all the wrongs that you have done in your life. So as you guys can imagine, she was just really excited. She went throughout the town really just spoke to just about everyone she could meet in the town and she spread that Jesus had spoken to her and that Jesus had um, what Jesus had shared with her so yes she just ran to town and spread this news with, with everyone so um, back at the well people started to gather people from far people from near and they just spoke with Jesus so Jesus has said he knew the woman he knew all she had done. He knew the right things she had done, but he also knew the bad things that she had done. But he loved her so much that he forgave her for all the bad things that she had done in her past. And you know what else? Jesus will forgive you for all the bad things that you have done too, okay? So just like this woman who's done amazing, wonderful, good things in her past, but also some bad things that, you know, they're not so good. Jesus has forgiven her and Jesus will also forgive you. So I want you guys to remember this though. If you guys ever do anything bad, Jesus will forgive you, but you just have to continue on this good path um, with the Lord, okay? So let me hear you say this, Jesus, 
forgives me. So Jesus forgives me, Jesus forgives you. Um, just continue to be wonderful children, to just do the good things um, um, that comes out of your heart. Don't harm, don't hurt, don't talk badly to those around you. Don't do the bad things, okay? Just be wonderful, kind-hearted people, okay? But know that if you, there is a moment you do say something that's not so nice or you do something that's bad, know that the Lord will forgive you, okay? So this is the end of our story. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I hope you know that God loves you no matter what and that he'll forgive you through it all. Okay guys, so now it's time for our discussion questions. Are you guys ready? Okay, so let's get started with question number one. Why was the woman at the well so surprised? Why was the woman at the well so surprised? Hmm. All right, question two. What did the woman do after she spoke to Jesus? What did the woman do after she spoke to Jesus? Do you remember? Okay, question three. Jesus forgave the woman for all the bad things she had done. Is there anything you need to ask Jesus for forgiveness? One more time. Jesus forgave the woman for all the bad things she had done. Is there anything you need to ask Jesus for forgiveness? And our last question, question four. Just like how Jesus forgave us, Jesus wants us to forgive others too. Is there anyone that you need to forgive? I'll ask one more time. Just like how Jesus forgave us, Jesus wants us to forgive others too. Is there anyone that you need to forgive? Take a moment to answer these questions. Go over the story with your family if you need help again. And I would love to hear your answers. I would love to hear who you would like to forgive or if there's anything that you would like Jesus to forgive you for. Hope you guys enjoyed the discussion questions this week. And now it's time for the memory verse. So our memory verse can be found in, in John chapter four, verse 14. And it says, but whoever, drinks, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to et eternal life. So take a moment to read this again throughout your week. And I'm just going to close this all off with a prayer for you all. So dear Lord, um, thank you for just gathering us all here today. Thank you. Just continue to bless these children who are here, who are here to learn your word, continue learning your word and living your word. Protect them, protect their families, and just tell them that you are there with them. You are there to fill them. Um, you are there to fill them um, with your love and your mercy and let them know no matter what it is that they do, the good or the bad, you will forgive them through it all. Let them continue to listen to your word. Let them know that as long as they continue to listen, you will be there to give them that eternal life and that fulfillment that will just take them throughout it all, throughout, through it all. Thank you, Lord, for protecting us, guide us all through our week. And um, we love you. Thank you for your mercy on us all. Amen. All right, guys. Well, we are done today. Hope you've enjoyed it and have a wonderful week.